has one purpose, and one purpose only, and that is so you can draw safely from the holster and enjoy yourself safely. As you know, um, we, our insurance allows us to have one person over here shooting at a time, um, but the only way that works as far as holsters are concerned is if you're qualified. This is the NFA recognised course, um, and within the next year, hopefully, if the NFA gets its act together, it will be recognised by the IPSIC as well, by the practical guys, so you'll be able to do it. will be the same as a black badge course. Um, they're in negotiation on that at the moment. Okay. Um, I don't expect you to be able to do a blindingly fast draw at the end of this course. I expect you to do a reasonably fast draw safely and hit the bloody target. There's no point in rushing the, the, the gun out of the holster and making a loud noise and putting a bullet somewhere at the other end. The idea is you're going to do it as quickly as is safe and is competent to hit the target. Okay, that's fine. Um, I don't expect you to uh, uh, you know, be really quick on this at all, uh, but I do expect by the end of the day you to be able to draw and hit a target at 7 metres in less than 1.5 seconds. Okay. Um, which is quite quick enough, but everybody here will be capable of, of that as long as you have the right sort of uh, holster to do it with. So therefore, a properly used holster in, safe, in, in a safe and proper condition is safer than benching the firearm. Okay, but please, please be aware of the, the dangers of muzzle sweep. You're going to be drawing live from the holster, and Sod's Law states that when you do the muzzle sweep, it will be a loaded gun, so don't do it. Right, the first thing then that we're going to actually do as far as, uh, as handling the firearms is concerned is the different stances. We'll talk about it first, then we'll go outside and practice it. You have three different stances. You have the weaver, the modified weaver, and the isosceles. When I was in the military, I was told by the instructor who taught me that even monkeys could be taught to shoot in the isosceles position, which is almost true. It's the simplest of the lot. The weaver position for a big git like me is impossible. The, the, the semi-weaver or modified weaver is what most of you will end up using. If you're really skinny, then you could use a full weaver. Otherwise, it's very, very difficult. I'll show you without a firearm, the actual weaver stance is right across the body. And you're pulling down with the elbow here, pushing forward with the, with the shooting hand. And the isometric tension is push-pull between the two hands. And you, your head's down on, on, the, on your arm here as if you've got a rifle in your hand. And that's the weaver stance. Modified weaver is exactly the same thing, except instead of pulling yourself around like that, you just relax. And wherever it comes to, when the muscles relax, that's a modified weaver. And different people with different chest sizes and different guts and all the rest of it, different muscles, it will be a different place somewhere in that arc. But that is a modified weaver. Okay? So you've got the same effect. Instead of pulling down like this, you're in here. Okay? And this is the most common stance because it's got... <clears throat> All of the good things are the weaver, but slightly less so. In other words, the recoil control is good, not quite as good. The sight picture is pretty good. It's slightly closer, so it's not quite as good, but it's still quite good. The arc of fire is much better, because when you're here, you can pull either way. If you're here, if you think about it, as soon as I start going that way, I'm locking it, and I can't go that way without turning my body. Third position is the isosceles position, named after the isosceles triangle, and that is literally square on. You see all the cop shows, they do that, don't they? They drop themselves down in the isosceles position. Um, I never did quite understand for the drop, but there you go. It's, it, it's just something that, that uh, one of the instructors decided to do, first of all. There's no need for it. Um, but the isosceles position is the isosceles triangle. Shoulders and arms make the triangle. It's very, very good for turreting, okay? Very poor for recoil control, but extremely good for instinctive or night shooting. Because you're using everything in stereo. Your eyes, your ears, your body, everything is pointing where you want it to be pointed. Okay? So they're the three positions. There's no, no isometric tension at all. You can't do a push-pull effect because the arms are out in the center. So that means that the recoil control is really poor. But um, with light recoiling firearms, it's not a problem. Okay? Uh, because, because it's uh, very, very poor as far as recoil control is concerned, rapid fire, it doesn't work. You end up bang, 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 bang. Okay? So, as I said before, most people will end up adopting the modified weaver. 
it is the most practical of all stances. Okay? Right, outside.